the 50 drunkest counties in the United States. This is based off percentage of adults who binge drink or drink heavily. Wisconsin, you good? You guys don't seem so good. Like, how is it almost just this entire state? And they actually have the top 10 counties. They're all in orange. Iowa has a few, but notice it's just a territory that's next to Wisconsin. Minnesota has one, but again, still pretty close to the state. Then finally, one for North Dakota and South Dakota. For the first time ever, I now really want to visit Wisconsin. One common theory about why Wisconsin's drinking culture is so bad is linked to their German heritage. About 43% of the state's population claim German roots. I guess that explains it. Wisconsin might have the most drinking, but I guess North Dakota has the most DUIs. The countries where it's legal or illegal to destroy their own flag, or flag desecration, we're talking about violation of flag protocol, acts that intentionally destroy, damage, or mutilate a flag in public. So here in the US and Canada, it is legal. They're like, go for it. In almost all of Latin America, though, it is illegal. You cannot do this. Things start to get a little complicated, though, when you consider both national and international desecration laws. So for most of these countries in the heart of Europe, Germany, Poland, Italy, you cannot destroy their own flag or any other country's flag. Cuba is the only country in the Western Hemisphere that does that same thing. Then there are places like Denmark and Japan, where you can destroy their own flag, but you cannot destroy any other international flags. Now that's a little strange. I'm going to assume these two countries have these laws to avoid any awkward diplomatic situation. I just want to know how it's legal to burn the North Korean flag in North Korea. They're like, oh, you can burn it all right, but if your family disappears, don't blame us. Uh, for the green countries, there are two situations. They either have laws protecting the behavior or they have no laws forbidding it. So North Korea just doesn't have any laws forbidding it. Anyone want to go out and volunteer and test this thing out? The many different languages in Ukraine. This is showing the majority languages in the various cities, towns, and villages. Interesting that the Chernobyl disaster zone isn't included. So obviously the vast majority of the country speaks Ukrainian, but this red is Russian. And all of Crimea is currently speaking Russian right now. Keep in mind, this map is actually from 2001, interestingly enough. Who knows how much it's changed? This part of the country has really diverse languages, a lot of Romanian and Bulgarian. The Romanian, not that surprising considering that country is right here, but how did the Bulgarians get up here? There's also a lot of Hungarian in the part of Ukraine which borders Hungary. It's hard to tell, but you can also see little dots of light blue in there, which is actually Polish. Sales tax by county in every U.S. state. Yo, Louisiana, what is going on? But this specific county, though, is like, nah, we gonna do our own thing. Remember that sales tax is that little extra bit of money that gets tacked on after you buy a product. It looks like it's only gonna be $2.99, but it's probably gonna be like $3.30. California obviously has a very high sales tax, but I didn't know Arizona was also pretty up there. Actually, I didn't even know a lot of the South is pretty up there. A lot of these counties are almost at 12%. Now, some states just use this to justify not having a high property tax or a high state income tax. So maybe the sales tax is high here, but everything else is kind of low. It's possible. This is why I love Oregon. There is no sales tax. It's nice round numbers. I guess most of Montana seems to be doing that too. This South Dakota County decided to just abolish sales tax. There's actually a couple of things out here in the East Coast as well. There's also, I believe, state minimums, but then each individual county can raise that. Like this claims California is only at like 8.68%, but I know LA County is like at least 10. Oh, it's actually 10.25. So if you buy something for $100, you're going to have to tack on an extra $10.25. Countries and U.S. states which have banned spanking your children. Keep in mind, some places out here allowing both parents and teachers to spank. I remember hearing about this from my family from Texas. Their teachers would spank them. And my little brain at that time couldn't even imagine that. All of these red states allow both parents and teachers to spank kids. I'm assuming this is like a school by school basis, like some schools will do it, some schools won't. They just can if they want to. I don't know. Now that I'm older, I realize how angry I'd be if someone else, like, hit my kid. In Europe, we're only talking parents here. Teachers cannot spank kids in this continent. But there's actually only a few places where even parents can spank. Italy, Belgium, Czechia. For the most part, this is completely outlawed in the European Union. Well, the British and Switzerland allow it. How are so many U.S. states still pretty divided on this subject? This is so shocking. A map showing America at their largest extent, which is kind of funny, considering when you do this with other countries, they get pretty big. We never really got Got that big, but there was a lot of extra things we had at this time. So this is spanning from 1898 to 1902. We did have the Philippines briefly. Well, for 48 years. I don't know if that's technically considered brief. And then we also had Cuba for just a little bit of time there as well. The U.S. pretty much got all of these new territories from the Spanish-American War at this time. Spain was forced to relinquish sovereignty over Cuba and give up Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Philippine Islands. Dang, they also had to pay 20 million. Oh wait, no, we paid them. We pretty much took the final stuff that remained a part of the old Spanish Empire. Crazy to me to think that we could have just kept Cuba in an alternative universe, just like the way we kept Puerto Rico, like that would have avoided a whole
whole missile crisis 50 years later. Maybe it's one of those things where like if you go back and change the past, then something else changes in the future. So if there's no Cuban communist foothold in the Western Hemisphere, who else then becomes the new jumping off point? What if it was Canada? <gasps> also, I realize the British are probably rolling on the ground laughing. Our empire at the greatest extent doesn't really compare to theirs. Countries with territorial disputes with Japan compared to neighbors of Japan. And would you look at that? Pretty much every neighbor Japan has has a territorial dispute with them. Weird to think of some of these countries as neighbors with Japan when they're like an island nation. Wait, even Taiwan has things they want from Japan? What's going on there? Yeah, five nations in total, including the People's Republic of China and the Republic of China or Taiwan. Historically, there's always been fighting between Japan and Russia for islands like this, but specifically there's a problem, I guess, with these islands down here. Seems like a lot of this stuff has to do with the exclusive economic zone or like some random islands out here in the Pacific. Sometimes it's even just like a random atoll. Most followed accounts on social media. This is combining Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Of course, we're gonna see a bunch of Kardashians and Jenners. Also a few soccer players in here. I like that they show the flag from the nation they're part of. A cricket player from India. Figured The Rock was gonna be higher on the list. OMG, Kylie's higher than Kim. Then we got Justin, who doesn't have that many Instagram followers, but when you combine Twitter and Facebook, it's up there. And two out of the top three are actually more soccer players. Wait, Ronaldo has more than Messi? What? Oh, Messi just needs to get a Twitter account and he's good. I'm a little surprised to see so many sports figures. I didn't realize that. Most streamed artist on Spotify. I'm guessing this is all time combined. This is so much different than the YouTube version of this. How have I never heard of some of these? Probably know the song, just not the artist name. BTS is not number one. L, South Korea. Also, they're mentioning their most popular song along with the rest of their catalog. 10% of the weekend streams comes from just this one song. That's pretty high up there. Considering T-Swift has 31 billion plays, yet not 1 billion in their most popular song. Ed Sheeran? Really? I'm actually not surprised at all to see Bad Bunny up here so high, and then yeah, there's Drake. Three out of the top five here are Canadian. What is going on? Colorado is not really rectangular. It's actually 697 sided. Each dot is a twist in Colorado's supposedly straight borders, and it seems to be happening the most here on the western side. Yeah, this western part is not even straight. Interesting that this is straight, and then the more east you go, it gets a little bit more messed up. Also, their eastern border itself, the northern part is all messed up, but down here it gets pretty straight. I feel bad for all those pools that try to do an exact cutout of Colorado. They're unfortunately going to need to make some changes to this. U.S. counties with more people than the state of Wyoming. I think I mentioned this fact like once a week, but there's a lot more places than just California that have more people in it than the state of Wyoming. And people wonder why there are groups that refuse to believe this place actually exists. It looks like most states have at least one county that has more population in it than Wyoming. A little surprised that Oklahoma has two. So does Tennessee and North Carolina. Of course, there's a lot of people living over here in the Northeast. They're going to rack up these numbers. I wish they colored this in with like a full color. Like the, the whole state, the whole state has only half a million people in it. And now compare that to this small blotch here in New York. There's more there. I want to see the same map, but just with cities. There are tons of cities that outnumber the state too. The Dublin Tram Network map compared to its real life geography. And I need to see this for everything. I always look up these maps whenever I like am looking at the tram map. I would actually prefer to just see it like this. Like this confuses me. Like I don't know exactly where I'm going. I know it makes it clear for other people, but I'd rather just see stuff like this. I, I want to know where I'm actually going. I like to know how physically far each station is from each other. What if I want to get out and walk? I don't know what this part of the thing is showing. Some sort of collapse in the matrix. Here's another one showing the London tube map compared to its real life geography. Again, thank you. I'm glad that we can find this stuff out there. This looks more clear to me. That is confusing. I know, I'm sure I'm in the minority here. It's probably because I'm this weird geography nerd, but I, I want to know where I'm physically going. Okay, wait, I now just realized how hilarious it is comparing these two lines to what we just saw with London. The effects of wind and the nearby landscape. So if there is a tall canopy tree and then a bush right next to it, it's going to go above your structure. There's going to be a lot less intake that moves through it. Wind really travels by the path least resisted. Oh, there's just going to be a huge flow. I kind of see what's going on. Going on. Versus if you have bush in front and then a tall canopy tree, then it's going to go straight through your house. Your hair is going to be done. So all you need to do is plant some sort of massive tree and wait like a hundred years for it to get this big and boom, profit. Who needs AC anymore when you can just use this? What the hell is this even saying, honestly? And big thanks to Twick and Hamster, the Polish, Lithuanian, Drew's Commonwealth, Argentinian grandpa, Austin Powers, $20 is a lot, Drew, a fat Norwal, Barnsky W, Isaac, I guess, Bring back Cowboys 83, Evan Price, 
Escoria, Drews, Pegs, Mundy, Lundy, Philip R.F., Robert E., Rye the, the Mexican 7-6, and why am I doing this?